Hello, welcome to this video where we go through two more examples of shell method and hopefully through this you can get the method down. All right. In this question, we're asked to find the volume of the solid that's generated by revolving the region in the first quadrant bounded by the parabola y equals x squared, the line y equals 4, and the line x equals 0. This time, though, we're going to revolve around not an x-axis, not a y-axis. No, we're going to revolve around x equals 6. All right. Okay, these are a little bit more difficult, these two examples. That's what the picture looks like. Two copies. We're going to argue between washer or shell. Okay. All right, great. Um, in the perpendicular slice, the rectangle is going to be horizontal. And there's a definite gap, so it's for sure washer. In the parallel rectangle, we're going to have a vertical rectangle. It's going to be shell with washer and y because it's not because of washer or because of the setup it's just because of the rectangle and um shell is going to be in x when you're in y you got to make sure that you uh solve everything to have it x equals so if you have y equals x squared then x is equal to root y okay all right shell is going to be done in x all right back to washer we have the radius that's for the outer, and we have the radius that's for the inner. And so the outer radius goes from the axis through the region. And as the y changes, that radius doesn't change. It's going to always be 6. For the inner radius, we go from the axis just up to the region, to the parabola, basically. Now, it's a difference between two distances. We start off with the 6, but we take away the distance off of the y-axis, which is x, but that's the wrong variable. It's uh, root y. So 6 minus root y is the inner radius. Well, what about the bounds? You start at 0 for y and you're done when you get to y equals 4. That's the setup for washer. The setup for shell. The radius attaches the axis to the rectangle. And so the radius is going to be 6 take away x. Why does it say 4 minus x squared? Oh, these are backwards. Sorry about that. These are backwards. The radius is 6 minus x, and the height is 4 minus x squared. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, and so we um, have the difference there. 4, take away the distance up to the parabola. 4 minus x squared is the height, and 6 minus x is the radius. Just multiply them. Throw a 2 pi on it. Integrate from x equals 0, and these guys are going to be equal when x is 2. I don't know if you had to decide between the two, which is better. Uh, it's a tough call. Work them both out or work one of them out. Work your favorite one out. Um, and then um, pause the video if you want to look at it in a second. We'll look at it and we'll have a volume of 56 pi. Okay, here's the full workup for the washer. Here's the full workout for the shell. All right, great. I'm focusing my attention on the setup. Okay, that's the most difficult part. All right, let's do uh, one more example in this video. Here we have um, a strange function that you're not going to be able to graph yourself. Well, x squared times e to the negative x squared. Uh, x equals 1, and then y equals 0. 
rotate it about the y-axis. All right, so that would graph probably be provided for you. Then you make a carbon copy. You're going to argue which method to choose. So washer is done in a manner that is perpendicular to the axis of rotation, and shell is done in a manner that is parallel to the axis of rotation. What's the axis of rotation? It's the y-axis. Perpendicular would be a rectangle that's horizontal. Shell would be a rectangle that's parallel that generates a typical one of them. When your rectangle is horizontal, you're in Y. When your rectangle is vertical, you're in X. Most of these problems are better done in X. I can't say all of them, but most of them. If you're trying to decide off the top, just go with it. Here's why washer is bad. If you're in Y, then your function needs to be X equals a function of Y. But you're not going to be able to untangle that in any standard way y equals x squared e to the negative x squared what's g of y it's gonna to be tough to find abandon it that's gonna be the best thing you could do with that with shell you attach the radius to the rectangle or you attach the axis to the rectangle and that's your radius and when you do shell and you're rotating around the y-axis the radius is x what about the height eh, it's just a function height x squared e to the negative x squared. What's the formula for shell? Take 2 pi times the radius times the height. Integrate that from a to b. And the, the a to b, the bounds are found by re, sort of realizing that the function is going to be in x. As this guy moves from left to right, the lowest x is 0, highest x is 1. Multiplying, we get x cubed e to the negative x squared. So we're going to have to integrate this, but like the last question, it's going to be a tough one. It's not going to be straightforward integration. You look at it and you think, well, why isn't it straightforward? Why can't I just see, look at this and see a polynomial x cubed times an exponential, e to the minus x squared. I should be able to do the shortcut to integration by parts. Why not? Well, let's take a look at it. Let's try it. Walk down that route. The method for Tabula, the method is called the tabular method, and you take the derivative of the polynomial down to zero. That's a lot of times, but you'll get there. But when you go to take the integral of the very first time through, you're, you're stuck. You can't integrate e to the negative x squared. Not without having an x out front to do a u sub. You can't even start this. No, I don't do this method. Okay? So you have to do a... Um, a non-standard use of the degree inside is one less than the degree outside. Okay. When that happens or when they're equal in degree, you could do a u sub. It's going to be a bit tough, but you can do it. Of course, you would let u be the exponent, negative x squared. So, you know, du is negative 2x dx. Negative 1 half du is going to be x dx. All right. So. I know how to replace x dx, but I have x cubed dx. Well, let me take the x off, and then I'll still be left with uh, x squared. I haven't changed anything. Color coded here to see how you replace it. Now I gotta figure out how to replace the x squared. It's this non standard u sub where you go back to the original u and you solve for what's left over the remaining part. Well, if u is negative x squared, then what's x squared? Negative u. All right, let's replace them. We have uh, 2 pi times the integral of a negative u e to the u with a negative 1 half du. Notice I didn't put bounds. I'm not going to do a limit switch. I'm just going to work this out and then later put the x's back in. Pull the negative out. Pull the negative 1 half out. And things cancel nicely, so you just have a pie on the outside. And then you have u e to the u as your function that you're integrating. All right, now you can do the shortcut. Take the derivative of u down to zero. Take the integral of e to the u the same amount of times. Multiply along diagonals going down and to the right. 
applying alternating signs, a plus first and then a minus, the integral of ue to the u is exactly ue to the u minus e to the u. And you can factor out an e to the u from there. It might make it a little easier in the calculation. And so all of that is elaborate side work to help us figure out that the antiderivative of the original function is pi times e to the negative x squared times negative x squared minus 1. The original bounds were 0 and 1. Plug them in and you'll have a negative 2 e to the negative 1 and then you plug 0 in and you'll just have a, a, a negative 1. So there's a lot of cancellation. Well, no, no, actually no cancellation at all. It's a, a negative 2 over e and plus 1 all times pi. That's your volume. All right, so it could be some intermixing between these topics that we cover. We might have a volume question that will require you sub. We've seen two examples in this video. Well, that's it. We're done with this video. Sorry for the length again. Um, and my name is Nakai Rimmer. I'm here to help you through this journey. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or um, comments. And uh, see you in the next video.